Uh, what do they call it? Somebody called it, maybe, maybe this is Steve's term, the immaculate disinflation or something. Is that dream now dead? Well, uh, Brian, good to be with you again. I think... Um uh, I think you can, my, our view can kind of be summed up in, in very quickly here in terms of in my 40 year career, whatever it is, there has never been a time when the consensus economic forecast correctly forecasted a recession. That's never happened. Recessions are always a surprise. And so if you accept that history, what you want to look for are situations where if you think there's going to be a recession, you want to look for situations where the leading indicators are rolling over. And the economists are ignoring that. What do we have today? We have the exact mm -hmm. opposite. The leading indicators are troughing, and economists are calling for slowdown and recession. That says that we're likely to have more positive surprises in the economy, not only for the consensus forecast, but for the Fed itself, which argues that there's probably going to be more inflation relative to expectations rather than less, which means the Fed is kind of handcuffed in terms of their flexibility. Mm -hmm. Steve, I feel like the economy is kind of the uh, the economic version of the Kansas City Chiefs, right? About midseason, they weren't looking like they used to. They were starting to lose. They lost to Denver. Everyone like it's over. Here comes the slowdown. They'll never make it. Then they went. A in other words, they just kept outperforming. And in many ways, I feel like the American economy, just every time somebody's like, well, we're done now, it surprises to the upside. Yeah, well, give me a call after the show and tell me who Taylor Swift is in this scenario of yours, uh, <laughs> uh, Brian. But it, it, in any event, um, I, I think that's right. Um, uh, and Richard is right as well. The Economist had it dead wrong in forecasting the recession last year, and it sure doesn't feel that way. I would point people's attention tomorrow morning at 830. We'll get the retail sales report. It's supposed to show some uh, 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 cooling of, of consumer spending, but not all that much. So we'll see. Uh, we're now at a 3% or so GDP forecast for the first quarter. So that's not really much of a cooling. Uh, people have, have, have tried to count it out. I think people misunderstand or don't understand at all the dynamism of the American economy. I was just thinking about this. Brian, you cover the energy business. You realize, of course, there is an economy the size of Saudi Arabia inside the United States. We have a whole tech economy. We have an incredible uh, uh, technology economy that, that, that's just out there in addition to manufacturing. Um, it is just wrong to uh, uh, predict recession over an economy that's as dynamic as the United States without major, major policy errors.